Welcome back now, while it might be a bit early to mention the C word, <gasps> yes, Christmas. Halloween isn't too far away. Now, with that in mind, our Donna donned her cape, grabbed her wand, and headed along to a unique pop-up event here in the capital. Now, the Cauldron Magic Experience at the Liquor Rooms is a Harry Potter-inspired cocktail-making class which uses science and technology to bring potions to life. <laughs> Jordan, can you tell us all about the Cauldron Pub? So the Cauldron Dublin is a molecular masterclass in the guise of a potions class. Our guests come in, they have an hour and 45 minute session with us. We have a few potion masters on hand that help them through their class. Basically, they're here just to craft molecular cocktails. Cocktails are a bit of a magical twist. They might change colour, they're on fire, they smoke and fizz. Well, it's sufficiently spooky. The amount of sculptures, photographs, artefacts really add to the experience. Hard mm -hmm. to believe this is just a pop-up. Well, the initial idea is we head out to a, a City which we think will do quite well, which might have a bit of magical history ingrained in the city itself. If it does well enough, then hopefully we'll stay for as long as people will have us. But yeah, all of this hard work, which our team in London put in quite a lot of effort, is just for a few months for now. They sound like great fun. Definitely have to use your imagination. And we're standing here at three beasts, for want of a better word. What are these for? So this is our magical menagerie. This is where our patrons come to prove to us that they're actually magic and didn't lie to me to get in. <laughs> Basically, these will pour a different concoction each. So we have our unicorn, which will give you a cocktail, our lion lamb, which will give you a mocktail in case you're not drinking alcohol, and our basilisk here will give you a bespoke uh, ale, which is made with us and Wicked Wolf. You can't get that anywhere else. It's quite fancy. So what do I have to do in order to get my hands one of these cocktails. Is there a magic word? There is. Uh, there's a magical phrase depending on which creature you're going for. Basically you have to earn their trust. So to do that you're going to need your own magic wand. You'll also need to pull on your uniform before you start otherwise <laughs> I'll give you a detention. I don't care how old you are. That's for you. <laughs> I'm still young enough for detention I'll have you know. <laughs> it should amplify your magical ability. Let's see if I have the magic touch. Penelope I do believe in unicorns. There we go. She was a bit apprehensive at first. She wasn't sure, but I have my first molecular cocktail. There Thank you, you Penelope. You've got lots of other magic tricks for us today, don't we you? We do, yeah. So we're going to head to your alchemy station. We're going to craft some molecular cocktails. So your first potion you're going to make for me is called the Transfiguration Tonic. We're going to use these vials that you can see here, filled with different infusions, spirits, and syrups as well. Basically, all we need to do is follow the instructions on our apothecary instructions here. If we follow this to the letter and make our molecular cocktail properly, we shouldn't make any unfortunate circumstances like turn into a frog or something like that. Well, hopefully that won't happen, but the cocktail should change colour. It should, yeah, if you make it properly, that is. OK, let's go for it. So first of all, what you want to do is take your vial of gin, which is this guy right here, okay. and empty the entire thing into your mixing glass. That I can do. Used to this. <laughs> Maybe not the whole lot. There you go. Next up is our vial of lavender syrup. Now, we make all of our syrups in-house as well. So you want to, depending on how sweet you'd like it, either add half of that or the full thing. I tend to like them quite sweet myself. Will we do half? Yeah, let's go for half then. Okay. And then your final ingredient is this vial of blue butterfly PT. So you want to add that in in its entirety blue as well. Blue butterfly. Oh, look at that colour. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Now, we just want to give it a good stir. So we want to stir it six times clockwise, adding one anti-clock stir for every second stir. That's very important. <laughs> Otherwise, that's where the frog transformation could come into play. OK. There we go. Now, all that's left to do is pour our new unction into our glasses here, and we'll finish it off with an enchantment. So if you wouldn't mind popping that on top of your enchantment table. Sure. Up it goes. Going to cast a spell. Perfect. Now. You'll want to add your vial of manticore venom to your unction. Manticore venom. Yeah, now don't drink it straight, it is venomous. If you add it into your potion, it should act as a magical stimulant. Oh, oh, look at that. And there we go, we have the colour change. From blue to pink. And ready to drink? I put a spell on you. Cause you're mine. Right, so first we're going to get all the ingredients out of our alchemy station. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So we have our bladder wart nectar, your dragon's tears, your jam jar with rum, and of course you'll need a glass to drink it out of. So that's all there for cool. you. So we empty all those botanicals in and empty the whole vial inside. Cool. And then give it a stir of the ladle as well. Oh! So this is lost time. It is indeed, yeah. I'm to taste it. What do you think? 
It's really good. It's quite earthy, mm -hmm. obviously, because of all the herbs. Yeah, exactly. What a great, fun way to spend an evening with your friends. I'd imagine feedback is super. Yeah, our guests are having a great time. They keep coming back for more as well. We keep getting return customers. So we're still here for another couple of months, so I'd suggest booking in. Definitely book it. A dramatic end. I was wondering where Laura was in why it wasn't in why she wasn't in today. <laughs> oh, she's, um... Are you sure you haven't had a yeah. puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> also, Are you all right? There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just check. Yeah, I'm okay. That is any adult Harry Potter fans heaven there, isn't it? Looks no, like totally. it, yeah. It's a yeah, good what, idea. What isn't an it? excuse. It looks great, yeah. Great idea.